Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be creating a complete website wireframe for a food truck restaurant. Make sure you guys stay tuned. In today's video, we're going to be doing the wireframes. In the next video, we're going to convert these wireframes into a design. And then from that design, we are actually going to create a full PHP and HTML website. All right, so first what we're gonna do is start off with our AI generator here. And what I'm using is Discord and specifically the art generator I'm using is Blue Willow. The reason I'm using this is because it's absolutely free. I used to like using Mid Journey, but that one is now a paid for version only. And I really don't wanna have to pay for AI art generators because I don't use, I don't present any of that information I take from the art generator to the actual client. I more use it just as a color scheme and kind of a brief mock-up for myself that I use to then convert into an actual mock-up and design. Create website homepage design for barbecue food truck on a computer screen using red, black, and light tan. So not too different from what we started with. And here's what we got. We got this one on the top right, which I really don't like because this is this guy here is not really the vibe we're going for. Down here, this one's okay, this one's not terrible. I don't mind it too much, but what I really wanna do is use this one in the bottom left because it shows some of our food items down there, gives us a basic layout for where we want things to go. This search button we probably won't have, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create variations of specifically this one, and this is one, two, three, so we wanna create variations of number three. So here we go now, guys. This is really more what I'm personally looking for. All right, so the one that looks the best, at least to me, is this one in the bottom left. So that's the one I'm gonna go ahead and upscale. We're going to upscale number three, and then we're going to take that, move it into Adobe XD and start knocking out some of these wireframes. Now we have our initial website mockup using AI art, so we don't have to worry about where the elements are gonna go. This is going to give us the idea that we're going to use for the entire website. And again, this is specifically going to be used for the home page and for this website we're going to keep it simple we're going to download this and we're only going to have three pages for this particular website so what this website's going to look like is it's going to be home page which is here menu which we're going to use these elements and then a contact form as the third page our client for this one needs it to be simple easy to use doesn't want anything too fancy for this website so that's the reasoning behind that and what we're going to do is we're going to use our snipping tool to go ahead and select this portion of the website here and we're going to use it just like that because we don't need all this extra design and images out here in the computer and everything like that and then we're going to save that off and open it in adobe xd now we're in adobe xd we have our file saved off we're going to create a new file just like that and already i have mine set up to be 1920 by 1080 right off the bat make sure you guys start off with that format because you don't want to start off with a different one because this is the standard screen size at least when i'm making this video what we're going to do is select our artboard like this and automatically drag it down and then we're going to navigate to our initial mock-up and drag that right in like this have it off to the left side. We're going to enlarge this a little bit. Don't worry if it looks a little bit pixelated. We don't need it to look clean right now. We're simply going to take this as an initial mock-up design and we're going to create our wireframe. And most of the time I don't create wireframes. I just hop straight into the design process so I can present a full design to my client. But sometimes clients do want the wireframe step to see where everything's going to lay out without any images or any distractions like that. Again, most of the time for time's sakes, this step is not necessary, but sometimes it does prove to be essential and make your client happier if you take the extra time to create these wireframes. So that's the reason I'm showing you guys how to do this. Not necessarily because I always like to create the wireframe, because I think it's not always necessary so keep that in mind so we're gonna start with our rectangle tool and keep in mind this is just going to be a wireframe so you want to make sure everything is like a light gray so you can see what you're personally working with without getting confused and then what we're gonna do is throw in some text here this we can be specific because we already know the pages that our client wants so we're just gonna leave it whatever default whatever the default font is in Adobe XD. 
and then we're going to change this to 40 like so and then we have our home alt drag we'll copy that out and then this is going to be contact and this is going to be our menu so you guys can see where we're headed already this is going to be a really simplistic website that our client wants in this situation more often than not it will be a lot more complicated than this but sometimes you will get some of these clients that don't want anything that complicated and so up here at the top left we haven't created our logo just yet but this is where our logo for this food truck restaurant is going to go this one we can leave white like this shrink it down a little bit put it like so to show that we're going to for sure have a logo there in the top left corner and then what we're going to do next again with our rectangle tool we're going to drag out and this is going to be that top section that you see over here and we're just going to fill this in with filler text and make it gray we're going to leave that border on so we can know that that's there for sure and then we're going to make this a little bit darker of a gray so we show the distinguishing line between our navigation and then our actual hero image here on the bottom part to put our food truck name like so we're going to make this white so the client can actually see it once we present this to them like that make sure this is right in the middle and then we're not going to have this little drop down menu here that our design has we're simply just going to have our button like so so here's going to be our button and we're going to just simply drag this up like that and then we're going to grab these edges make sure they're rounded so the user can tell that this is going to be a button that they're going to be able to click on and so what we're going to have here is we're going to have menu like so go ahead change that back to 40 and we can go ahead and make this text black so now we have our button done we're going to zoom out and then we're going to start creating some of these elements that you guys can see down here so as you guys can see it has some of these elements here but i really just want to display the food items that this food truck has to offer right up here at the top instead of these little items here so we're going to go ahead and start adding some of that we're going to start with our rectangle tool like so make sure that is a perfect square so we can get those images in there and then what we're going to do is actually place it like this because the, the reasoning behind this is so when you open this website you want the user to see this top portion you want them to see the navigation Bixby's barbecue the menu option here the menu option up in the navigation and an image of the barbecue truck or some food that they have to offer and then you just want to have them be able to see a little snapshot of this of these menu items down here so they want to scroll down on the website you could bring this all the way down like that but then what that does is it doesn't encourage that user to actually go and navigate through that home page of the website and see these items but throwing in a little mystery by just leaving in a little bit of the image here at the top that the user will see on their computer or phone screen adds that curiosity to the user where they want to scroll down where they're like oh what is that they just see the top of maybe a piece of brisket or a rib or some barbecue chicken and they're like well i kind of want to see it now and now you're getting the user to look at the food images and when you get people looking at the food images especially for a restaurant starts making them hungry and that's exactly what you guys want to do so everything we do here is strategic again i always like to stress that gonna round off these corners just a little bit because we don't want it to be so hard on the user's eyes we want it to be a little bit soft and inviting like that that's what the roundness is going to do but again that's why we do everything we do here at camera web design everything is a strategy every last element we place is placed in a specific spot for a specific reason to get people to go into your restaurant buy your product buy your service do whatever it is you want them to do we do all the legwork all the groundwork all the heavy thinking for you guys so you guys can focus on your business and we handle the website completely for you and you don't have to worry about it so now we're going to make sure this is in the middle we're actually going to move it down just a few more steps just so we have a little bit peeking up right there 
We're going to take our header here, move it down, and this is going to be our menu. We're going to have parts of our menu on our homepage. And what I mean by that, we're going to have the most popular options of this restaurant on our homepage here. And then we'll have the rest of the, the complete menu on our menu page. But, but we want the user to be able to do everything as soon as they hop into this website. They don't have to go looking around. They're not confused. And we want them to see what we have to offer from as soon as they click on that link, as soon as they visit the website, we want them to understand exactly what we want them to do, where we want them to go, and what they can do on this website. Make sure this is centered, and then again, we're just going to have our names of our options. We're going to put food one, and then we're just going to copy this along, do food one, two, and three. And then for our footer, all we're gonna do is go ahead and drag this down for now. We don't need to be super specific. We're just gonna leave that as an exact copy for now. Once we get to the design, we will be changing that around a little bit because we do want this to be a little bit different. But for now, we just wanna get these wireframes done so we can show this to the client get their approval, hopefully. If we don't, we'll come back to the drawing board, make some changes, obviously. But if they do like this wireframe, then what we'll do from there is actually start designing it. So from here, we'll take our wireframe and actually start adding our colors and everything. And I'll show you guys that in the next video we do. Excited for that one, make sure you guys stay tuned. So for this, we're going to title this Home. And then for this one, we're going to title it menu and we're going to come over here and what we're going to do is simply delete that grab this move it up like so and then underneath menu what we're actually going to do is we're going to specify each individual food that we have we're going to have chicken we're going to have beef we're going to have pork and then we're going to have plates so the first one we're going to do is actually going to be plates so what we're going to do is make this just a little bit gray like our header up here to distinguish the difference between the two then we're going to do this move this up a little bit and this is going to be our plates like so i'm gonna put that all the way to the right and then we are going to come down here extend our page out by grabbing that portion up there and then we're going to grab our footer, move it down. And you guys can see exactly where we're headed with this, but I like to be detailed in my videos so you guys know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it exactly because some people aren't like that on YouTube. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep pasting this down like so. And then obviously if they have more than three plates, we'll move this down later and then add in some more options as far as the plates go. But for now, I think that's good. We're gonna have chicken and then we'll just leave these food one food two food three not a big deal at all right now this one we're going to move up to be even with the rest of our website so now you guys can see we have our home page wireframe and our menu page wireframe we have everything laid out so when we do come back to our design it's really easy to add in pictures add in colors and again what you guys don't want to do when you if you do not watch that design video that i'm going to make is do not add your images to this particular wireframe. Make a copy of it, keep your wireframes just in case, and then add the images and the design aspects to the copy of this wireframe. So now what we're gonna do is have a contact page where clients can actually contact us if they want catering or anything like that. Almost just deleted my page there. You definitely don't wanna do that. <laughs> Alt and then drag, and then we'll just use this page as our final contact menu here and then what we'll do is we'll delete all of this like so get rid of that and then we'll go ahead up here change this to contact and then we're going to add a little bit of text here like so drag this over here and then this is going to be specifically for catering so we're going to do catering your way, like so, is a little tagline for our business here that we're working with. I'm going to move that up just a little bit. And then this contact form 
is not going to be anything too fancy. Again, we don't need it to be that fancy. Round this off just a little bit. And then this, all we're going to have is our name up here. So we're gonna go ahead and draw out our line like so. Round that just a little bit in. And again, everything, once you actually develop it, or post this Adobe XD online is going to be bigger than whatever you put in your design. So keep in mind, everything looks a little bit smaller on Adobe XD publishing it, and then it'll look a little bit larger. So always keep that in mind with XD. We're gonna have first name, and then I'm gonna go ahead and create the rest of the fields down below now that you guys know how to create these little fields and make them look in Adobe XD and I'll get back to you guys once I have them all ready to go. All right, now we have all our fields. You guys can see I put that little asterisk at the end to show that once we get to development, these are going to be required fields that we are going to use PHP to actually verify and make sure potential clients for this restaurant do have to fill out these three fields to actually contact Bigsby's Barbecue. And then the last thing we're going to do is simply steal our button from over here, and we're going to use that as a submit button down here. Move our footer up like so. And now guys, as you can see, we have our complete wireframe for our website. We have our home page on the far left over here. We have our menu page here in the middle. And now we have our contact page on the far right again. This client needs just a simple, easy to use, brief website. That's what they want. So that's the reason we're keeping this so simple. Sometimes it does get more complex. There are more pages that need to be made. We need to do a lot more depending on the client. So in our next video, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We're going to take this wireframe and convert it into a design. And I'm gonna show you guys the easiest possible way to do that without taking too much time. But again, what you wanna do, if you do have to go through the wireframing process like we're doing here today, is present this to your client before you start designing. Because if you don't, and then take it into a design, they may not like something from the wireframe, and you may have to go back, and now you have to edit the wireframe and the design that you created for them. So make sure you present this step first, make sure they like where everything is at, explain how everything's going to look, because again, it's hard to picture everything being complete when you don't have images, you don't have colors or anything like that. So make sure you detail where everything's going to go and get their approval on this before you move on to the design phase. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions on anything we did here in today's video, make sure you go down in the comments and let me know. If you guys need help in your own web design and development journey, reach out to us at Kalman Web Design through this video or go to our website at kalmanwebdesign.com and we will help you out without charging you. Have a great day.